dragon fruit, also known as pitaya, has become a staple agricultural product across Southeast Asia, particularly in countries like Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines. This vibrant, nutritious fruit is cherished not only for its unique appearance and flavor, but also for its health benefits. In this comprehensive overview, we will explore the entire process of dragon fruit farming from cultivation to harvest and factory processing and examine the production and export statistics for Southeast Asia in 2023. Dragon fruit farming begins with the careful selection of suitable land. This fruit thrives in tropical and subtropical climates, making Southeast Asia an ideal region for its cultivation. The first step in dragon fruit farming is soil preparation. Dragon fruit plants, which belong to the cactus family, require well-drained soil with a pH level between six and seven. Once the soil is ready, farmers proceed to planting. Dragon fruit is typically propagated using stem cuttings from mature plants. These cuttings are planted directly into the soil or in pots until they develop a robust root system. The planting process is meticulous, ensuring that each cutting is spaced adequately to allow for proper growth and airflow. In commercial farms, the plants are often grown on trellises or supports to encourage vertical growth and ease the harvesting process. Dragon fruit plants require regular watering, particularly during the dry season. However, they are drought tolerant and can survive with minimal water once established. Irrigation systems are often employed to maintain consistent moisture levels in the soil. In addition to watering, farmers must also manage weeds and pests. Pruning is another essential aspect of dragon fruit farming. Regular pruning helps maintain the plant's shape, removes dead or diseased branches, and promotes better fruit production. Farmers typically prune the plants during the growing season, ensuring that the remaining branches receive ample sunlight and nutrients. Dragon fruit plants start bearing fruit within six to eight months of planting. The fruiting process is influenced by several factors, including climate, soil conditions, and plant care. The flowering phase is particularly critical as dragon fruit flowers bloom at night and are pollinated by nocturnal creatures such as bats and moths. In some farms, hand pollination is practiced to ensure higher fruit set rates. Harvesting dragon fruit is a labor-intensive process that requires precision and care. The fruit is ready for harvest when its skin turns vibrant red or yellow, depending on the variety. Farmers carefully inspect each fruit to determine its ripeness as overripe or underripe fruits do not meet market standards. Harvesting is typically done by hand using sharp tools to cut the fruit from the plant without causing damage. Once harvested, dragon fruits are transported to processing facilities for sorting and grading. In the factory, the fruits undergo a thorough cleaning process to remove dirt and residues. They are then sorted based on size, color, and quality. 
The highest quality fruits are selected for export while others are used for local markets or processed into various products such as juices, jams, and dried fruit. The processing stage in the factory involves several steps to ensure the fruit's quality and safety. After sorting, the dragon fruits are washed and sanitized to eliminate any potential contaminants. They are then packaged in protective materials to prevent damage during transportation. For export purposes, the fruits are often treated with natural preservatives to extend their shelf life. In 2023, Southeast Asia saw a significant increase in dragon fruit production and export. Vietnam, the leading producer in the region, reported a total production of over 1.5 million tons of dragon fruit. This increase in production can be attributed to improved farming techniques, expansion of cultivation areas, and favorable weather conditions. Thailand and the Philippines also reported substantial increases in their dragon fruit output, contributing to the region's overall growth. The export market for dragon fruit has expanded considerably, with Southeast Asia becoming a major supplier to international markets such as the United States, Europe, and China. In 2023, the region's dragon fruit exports reached a record high of 1 million tons, generating significant revenue for local farmers and economies. Vietnam alone accounted for more than 70% of these exports, with its dragon fruit being highly sought after for its quality and taste. In conclusion, dragon fruit farming in Southeast Asia is a thriving industry that has seen remarkable growth in recent years. From careful soil preparation and planting to meticulous care and harvesting, every step in the process is crucial to producing high quality dragon fruits. The success of this industry is reflected in the impressive production and export figures for 2023, highlighting the region's significance in the global dragon fruit market. As consumer demand continues to rise, Southeast Asia is well positioned to maintain its leadership in dragon fruit production and export, providing delicious and nutritious fruit to markets around the world. We sincerely thank you for following the journey of the dragon fruit from the initial steps of soil preparation and planting to the harvest of fresh, delicious dragon fruits. Your interest and support are great motivations for us to continue developing and improving cultivation techniques. We hope that through this process you have gained valuable insights and a deeper understanding of the relentless efforts of Southeast Asian farmers in delivering high quality products to the market. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you in future projects.